So did you do a self-assessment of your comfort versus your relationships this week? In essence, did you pray for the Holy Spirit to enlighten you on what you do that pushes the buttons of your loved ones? I know this is an area where we really don't want to step into because it takes a lot of emotional strength to make the changes once those truths are revealed. This is really beneficial though, if you really want to improve relationships and get out of your destructive comfort zones. Actually, the first step is to be aware that your comfort zone can be destructive. Once you do that, start considering what triggers most of the conflicts in your spouse, in your children, in your coworkers, in your friends, whoever. The result might be traced back to you. Most don't want to do this because like most things, we want to hang on to the habits that we're accustomed to. Even bad habits can start to feel comfortable and become the zone in which we want to stay. It's more comfortable to stay in the same thing than to change because we generally want to stay selfish. Selfishness is a destructive habit and like anything else, gets stronger the more we practice it. The more you practice gratitude, the more good things in life will start to blossom. The more you practice selfishness, the more selfish you become and the more comfortable you will be with that same activity. Philippians 2, 3 through 4 says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. So, are you starting to see where comfort can actually be detrimental to your growth? If so, you can start to identify your selfishness by doing a self-fast for just one day. It only takes one day to see how much you put your own self first as opposed to putting others first. A self-fast is much like a food fast, but instead of giving up food for the day, you will give up yourself. As you encounter choices for the self-fast, purposely put yourself at the bottom instead of at the top. Try it and let the results put you on a new path away from your comfort zone and toward living, loving, and leading like Jesus this week. Have a great one. God bless.